All right, so the new MacBook Pros with the touch bar have started to ship and people have given their opinions and the most heavily complained thing about these new laptops is the lack of ports. No SSD card slot, no HDMI, no regular USB ports, well, can't innovate anymore my ass. USB Type-C with Thunderbolt is the new bet for Apple's new Pro laptops. Agreed. USB Type-C is the future, Thunderbolt 3 is the future, but is it right to force it up in the present? Why does Apple ditch so many ports? Since 1998, Apple began its history of blatantly not including industry standard consumer I.O. ports, floppy drives, optical drives, DVI ports, and now USB and SD cards. But why? Why does Apple do this? Let's go ahead and try to break it down. Hey, what's up guys, this is Katie Cloudy and you are watching the second episode of Tech Thesis. Stay tuned. Okay, so firstly, let's ask ourselves, is the MacBook Pro 2016 likeable? Do people like it? Answer is yes. Most of the reviews which have come out recently have generally given positive comments for just one main particular reason, the build and design, which is the upside for any Apple product for that matter. The truth is that the new design and the smaller thinner footprint actually required the USB and the HDMI ports to be removed. The game which Apple is playing here is called Perceived Value, which means that the cooler your product looks, chances are people are going to buy it. In other words, I mean to say that they actually removed the ports so that it looks better and it has more chances of being sold. If it did not look a lot different to the previous generation MacBook, Apple thinks that people wouldn't buy it. But it doesn't end over there. Money is the next factor. Firstly, there are dongles and Apple likes to call them adapters and it, yeah, it doesn't need to be mentioned but even though Apple has dropped the prices of the adapters now, it's not really for long and if Apple really had a concern for the transition from USB Type-A to Type-C and Thunderbolt 2 to 3, I think they would ship those dongles in the box itself. So yeah, money is definitely a factor in the removal of the ports. But secondly, Apple is selling the baseline model with the touch bar for $1799, which amounts to about 155,000 Indian rupees. So seeing a hefty price like this, many potential buyers might switch to the old MacBook Pros, which not only has more ports but it has a lower price as well. And it's a well-rounded device and it still holds up really well with the force touch trackpad and everything. But the thing is that it hasn't undergone any price cut for the past one and a half years. Now it's tough to digest that the last generation MacBooks are manufactured for the same price as they were before. I mean, it has obviously gone down, but along with it, the marketing margin has also gone down as well, as it isn't as advertised as much as before because it's an older product. So in easy terms, Apple has reduced the marketing budget and also the input cost because they are older parts which makes up more space for the profit margin. So it means that when you buy an older model, Apple makes more profit as compared to the newer models. That's what Apple wants. But nevertheless, I still say that the MacBook Pro isn't a piece of crap. It's basically the most powerful machine which Apple makes right now. And there are people who are hardcore early adopters who are really enthusiastic about getting their hands on up in the latest and greatest trends of tech and they are buying it and they are already used to USB Type-C and it's perfect for them but the MacBook Pro is meant for pros. The people who are disappointed by Apple's move are not Apple's haters. They are people who are committed to the Mac lineup for a lot of years and they were expecting something more powerful, more convenient to get their work done. But seriously, is it, is, it, is it a pro device? Professionals see computers as tools to get their work done efficiently and not even have to think about it. 
Well, I'll just leave a link to this article by The Verge which perfectly and beautifully describes how the MacBook Pro isn't really Pro. Let's face it, Apple has become a really different company altogether now. In Steve Jobs era, they did remove ports, but they had very genuine reasons behind it and they actually did make sense. But this time, it's too big of a leap. I mean, regular USB is almost everywhere now and has been used for decades. And Apple didn't even say a word acknowledging the transition phase. So, to be honest, it's really hard to tell the reason why Apple did this. Well, but one thing we all can agree upon is that Apple is Apple. It will do whatever it wants and it will eventually become an industry style. That being said, Apple is pretty much the only tech company which has this unofficial authority to change industry standards and I think they are doing a really good job at it. Let's see how it goes. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.